If you like to scroll on social media, maybe buy something here and there. Be extra careful. Last year, scammers took $770 million from people online. And most reports stemmed from online shopping. Thanks for staying up with Nightside. I'm Aaron Luna. Though online shopping topped the list of reported scams, most of the money lost came from investment scams and another ploy you may not have thought about. New on Nightside, Caitlin Knapp explains how scammers are targeting your wallet. A lot of us like to scroll on social media to pass the time. When you come across an ad, you may be tempted to buy that cute outfit or that fancy kitchen gadget. But before you do, there are a couple things to keep in mind. Online shopping. It's convenient and easy. That also goes for scammers. Uh, about one in four people who reported losing money to fraud last year said it started on social media. Out of the $770 million taken, most of that went to investment scams, specifically fake cryptocurrency investments. Not far behind, romance scams. It's a little bit like catfishing. Once you're attached to that person and you trust them, they just sort of casually drop, oh, you know, I, I, I'm really great at investing and I can teach you how to invest in cryptocurrency. Emma Fletcher with the Federal Trade Commission says scammers tend to prefer crypto since it's hard to get the money back. Uh, it's gotten a lot more sophisticated now where they're asking people to transfer money for them. A lot of people reported online shopping scams. You buy something, but don't get what you paid for. But if people paid with a credit card, which they often do, they, they do have some protection there. To avoid scams like these, there are a couple things you can do. If you get a message from a friend about an opportunity or some urgent need for money, call them, make sure it's really them. Their account may very well have been hacked. Change your privacy settings so only certain people can see your post. It'll lower your chances of being targeted. If you're buying something online, do your research. Check the company out, uh, search for its name, uh, maybe with words like scam or complaint. A lot of the shopping scams happen on Facebook and Instagram. So if you're looking there to buy that outfit, check the page to make sure it's verified. Reporting in the newsroom, Caitlin Knapp for News Nightside.